Once upon a time, there lived a woodman with his wife. They did not have any children and always wished to have a little boy or a girl with whom they can play every evening. One day, the woodman and his wife were sitting in their room and talking, when suddenly the wife made a wish. How I wish we had a child who would bring us joy and happiness. Even if it was as tiny as my thumb, I would have been the happiest. Soon a fairy entered their house and fulfilled their wish. They now had a boy who was just the size of their thumb. Both were delighted with joy and said, Look, how tiny he is. But he is our little boy and we will always love him with our hearts. They named the little boy Tom. Although his parents fed little Tom healthy food, he did not gain any height. Years passed by and little Tom remained the same. Everyone called him Tom Thumb because of his height. But he grew up as a smart boy and loved his parents very much. One day, the woodman had to go to the nearby forest to get some wood. He was late and worried. If I wait for the cart to get ready, it will be very late. But I also cannot carry the wood without any cart, said the woodman. I will help you, father. I will bring the cart, said Tom Thumb. Hearing this, his father laughed. Ha ha ha! But my boy, you are too tiny to carry the cart. How will you reach the bridle of the horse? remarked the woodman. Tom quickly came up with an idea and said, Oh, don't worry, father. I will ask mother to harness the horse, and then I will reach to his ear and tell him where to go. Give me a chance to prove myself, father. I am sure I can do it. Your cart will reach you by the time you need it, said Tom, looking at the worried face of his father. Finally, his father agreed to go with his idea. Soon, little Tom set out towards the forest to take the cart to his father. On his way, the cart passed by two men. They were shocked to see the empty cart. One of the men said, I can hear some voice coming from that cart, but I cannot see anyone. How strange. Even I am able to hear a male voice. Whose voice is it? I cannot see anything either, the other man remarked. Both the men, therefore, decided to follow the cart. Tom Thumb, on the other hand, reached to his father. He was happy to bring the cart for his father on time. Hello, father. I am here. See, I brought the cart for you. I told you that I can do it easily. Now help me get down from the horse's ear. The two men following the cart could not believe what they saw. They were surprised to see the woodman gently pick up a tiny boy from the horse's ear. What am I seeing? Is this for real? How is this possible? questioned one of the men. We can get good fortune if we take this tiny boy with us to show everyone around, said the other. Soon they approached the woodman to ask for Tom Thumb. Hey, man, what price will you charge us for that tiny boy? asked both the men. How dare you! He is my son, I am not giving him to anyone, said the woodman. Listening to the conversion, Tom Thumb whispered in his father's ear, Dad, charge a huge amount from both of them. Don't worry, I will come back to you in no time. The father agreed and asked the men to give him a good amount of money. Both the men agreed to this and gave the amount to the woodman. 
Soon they took Tom along with them. After a while, both the men were tired and decided to rest under a tree. Little Tom thought to himself, this is a good opportunity for me to escape. I should hurry up and run from here. He ran as fast as he could until he reached a hole. He soon scampered down the hole, but by then the men were awakened. Hey, you, come back to us or else it will not be good, shouted the men in anger. Ha ha ha, you cannot come down here and catch me said Tom Thumb. Both the men tried their best to reach Tom through the hole, but failed every time. Finally, they gave up and went away. Little Tom was relieved and went back to his father. A few days later, his father took Tom Thumb to the fields to plow and handed him a straw whip to drive the cattle, but young Tom was quickly lost in the field. When an eagle saw him, it picked him up and carried him to the top of a hill. A giant's castle was located on that hill. When the giant saw Tom Thumb, it immediately put him into his mouth, expecting to swallow him whole. But Tom tried his best to escape and punched the monster from inside. The monster was so annoyed and disturbed that it decided to get rid of Tom and tossed him far away into the sea. However, Tom was not drowned because he had barely touched the water and was swallowed by a giant fish, which the fishermen later captured and presented to King Arthur as a gift. Everyone was surprised to find Tom inside the fish when it was opened. He was taken immediately to the king, who was surprised to see the bravery and smartness of Tiny Tom. Soon, he was appointed the court dwarf by the king. Years passed by, and Tom Thumb was remembered by everyone for his wise mind and smartness. What does the story of Tom Thumb teach us? It teaches us how we should never let our weaknesses become a barrier in our life. In this story, Tom Thumb's height was always an obstacle in his life, but he decided not to give up easily. Therefore, he used his smartness and was able to overcome all the difficulties of his life. We hope you had a fun time reading the Tom Thumb story.